I got the phone call that, you know, you need to come back for a second checkup. What makes me so happy about IT Airport Taxi is that they are not only doing business, they are giving back to the community. They know the value of staying with the community and contributing to the community. I'm here today with the Independent Taxi Association at the Buffalo Niagara International Airport, raising awareness for breast cancer and money for the Roswell Park Cancer Institute. My name is Doris and I am a cancer lifer. Um, for many years, since the time I was 40, I went for a yearly mammography. And from one year to the next year, three years ago, I went for my annual mammogram. I did it, uh, we did it as a buddy system. This is our second annual fundraiser, and last year we made over $1,500, and this year we plan to double it, if not more. So it's an amazing cause. We have goodie bags, all of the taxi drivers are wearing their pink ties, and we're really just having a great time, and I am so happy to be a part of it. I was called back and then everybody says, okay, don't worry about it, you know, you just go back for a sonogram, it's fine. And, and then I went back for my sonogram with, with the same group of women that I went for the test all these years because we support each other. And I went back and then they immediately said, you need to have a biopsy. I'm very thankful for the Buffalo Airport Taxi Service to be running this event today. Every little bit towards breast cancer awareness helps. And today you can come on down and show your support. Follow-up testing more biopsies, more MRIs, you know, just more anguish. Um, it, it was a very tough period of time. You go for uh, a number of tests, you know, the tests, you, you're anxious when you're going for the test, but I think the worst part is, is when you're sitting home and the phone rings and you're waiting for, for the results of all those tests. Uh, that to me was one of the most stressful parts of my life, just like waiting picking up the phone and then not being able to actually answer it because you were shaking so much. But, you know, you, you get through it with support. You know, you need a lot of support on this. You get through it. Um, I had a bilateral double mastectomy, and, uh, and it's, it's difficult, it's not easy. You need an army of people to get you through it. Thank God I, I was fortunate enough between my friends and my family that I had that. And I hope that every woman in the world does have that. There are so many beautiful people here today, as you can see over my shoulder, but the real beauty is the beauty from inside, of people caring and sharing and donating to this worthwhile cause. And you go through it and, you know, basically kind of like prepare for the worst, but know every day, knowing every day that the next day would be better. You know, every day you get a little bit stronger and you're able to do a little bit more until eventually you know, you do get back to, to being whole again. It, it takes a long time, takes a lot of faith, a lot of love, but more than anything, it takes support to be able to become whole again. I would encourage everybody to do anything that you can to support. Maybe walk, maybe contribute, maybe blog, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, anything 
that gets the word out that we need help to get rid of this horrible thing called breast cancer and ovarian cancer and any cancer that afflicts people out there that deserve to enjoy life and have the next day to live. So I hope you'll join us. I hope you'll come back again and join us next year as we're here at this beautiful airport with these beautiful people saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Today I'm happy to say that so far I am identified cancer free, ICA, identified cancer, oh ICF, identified cancer free, but I continually go for checkups. Um, I go back to Sloan Kettering every six months to get a full workup and so far so good. And, and that's my story and now I'm a lifer and I live every day to the best of my ability.